games. And my son took my championship hat, so he, better off he has it than I do. Um, <coughs> just a great game tonight. We got a ton of respect for Bowling Green. Coach Babers and his staff and their players, that's a, that's a good football team over there. And, um, you know, kudos to them on their season and their Mac East uh, championship. We're, uh, I'm super excited for our university, um, our athletic department, our football staff, and most importantly, our football players. All the credit goes to them on this. You know, they said what they wanted. Um, they said it back in January, and uh, they just got it tonight. And uh, it's because all the hard work that they did, and I know that's a cliche, but you know what, you don't get here without hard work. And that's how they did it. And they bought into that. When I told them that, I said, all right, that's what you want. Here's what you got to do. They did it. And so that's why all the um, credit goes to them in every way, shape, or form. And uh, I'm just so happy for my staff, too. You know, they work long hours, don't see their family as a ton during the season. And uh, now we got to go on the road recruiting, so they ain't going to see them there. But um, I tell you what, really happy for them. Um, couldn't be prouder of them as a group as well. So um, with that, we'll open it up for questions. Rod, you've been uh, saying all season that you've been looking for you know, these big games that you're looking for, you know, these big games. Is this closer to what you're looking for? Yeah, yeah. I, I, this was our best game to date um, at the right time. And um, I told them in the locker room afterwards, and, and they know it. I said, now we know how to do it. We got another one yet, um, and, and we want to keep playing this way because it feels really good when you play this way. And uh, just uh, really happy for him, Fred. Rod, it's not easy to be in this <coughs> visible position, especially when you take over a program that was really, really successful. What did you see from Drew this year that you don't see again? Uh, just his poise and his attitude. He never once tried to be anybody but Drew, and that's what he had to do to be successful. And he's kept getting better a little bit at a time. Um, and sometimes I wasn't happy with him. Sometimes he wasn't happy with me. but. Um, you know what, it, it, it's coming, and you can see, and you saw it tonight. So I'm really <coughs> happy for him along with the rest of the players. Um, any players or coach in any position? I mean, with, with the way last year's championship game went, does it mean a little more if you play this year against the same team? How about Tyler takes this one? All right, well, um, it meant a lot to me, obviously, because I wasn't here last year. And, and, um, and the year before? Yeah, in the last four years. Um, but. Uh, I was at home last year in, in my bed watching the game, and it was a pretty disappointing loss. And then this year, playing the same team and it being my last year and my first time being here, it really meant a lot to come out with a win here tonight. Uh, it was definitely a big win for us. You know, we felt like we, uh, I don't know if you want to say old on that, but last year we felt like we got embarrassed out here in the Max Championship coming back for the third time. We knew we could uh, come out here and play bad and get jumped on again. And uh, it just feels good to win our third Max Championship. And Feels good to beat Bowling Green, the team that embarrassed us last year. You guys ran up uh, 51 points. Do you feel like the defense sort of set the tone? Uh, definitely. I think uh, the offense uh, helped us out by having, keeping the ball, staying on the field more, you know, this game, and uh, moving the ball up and down the field. But definitely turnovers was big early in the game. It got us up, and uh, we knew they was going they was going to play good from in front. So <coughs> we got up, we had a good chance, and uh, that's what happened tonight. Drew, did you expect to throw the ball 50 times today? Um, honestly, no, I did not. But you know, I like I love to throw the ball. So, do you like that they challenged you? That they made you throw it at the beginning of this game? Yeah, I mean, the way they were, you know, the way they were on defense. They were the quarterback doesn't some, like to throw the ball, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know many. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the way they were, uh, they were just giving us some looks, and you know, I could take some easy throws outside. So, try to do that. What did it mean to have Jordan Lynch on the sideline there? And, uh, did he say I, I still haven't got to talk to him yet, but. I'm sure I'll hear something from him soon. What did it mean to you, what did it mean to, you to, to know that he was here? Oh, I mean, I love the sport from the guy. I mean, I love hearing from him all the time, so it, it was good. Coach, Coach, talk about your second half play each of the last two weeks. It's been good. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, listen, we go in and, and you always get your, your game plan all week for kind of all the scenarios. and. After a half, you kind of know what's going on. Um, not to mean that you don't make adjustments as you're going, because we don't wait to make adjustments. But then you kind of get a chance to all get together and get out there and go. And um, really, um, you know, credit goes to the players on that, because you get them in and you tell them, and then they got to go out and do it in a short amount of time. And uh, last couple of weeks, they really have.
got that big drive at the end of the uh, second quarter to get <coughs> points. Uh, was the uh, play designed to go to Gekis? Was that what you guys were looking for from the start, or what, were, what was the uh, call there? Uh, it, it has options. has, uh, like all the runs we, all the plays that we run, it has a bunch of options. And, um, you know, when we're going to the left like that, it's a hard throw and hard execution to do. But it was the look we saw to go there. And uh, Drew knew it, bought himself some time, and got it over there. Drew, what made you decide to look for a third uh, look on the play? I know he hadn't had many catches this year, and uh, that was his first touchdown. What uh, did you see them make you decide to do that? I mean, like Coach just said, I mean, they had the look to throw that ball. Um, you know, we had a play outside, going to the play side, to the left, and they covered it well. So. That left the backside open, so, and I knew it. Rod, I you know you can't control uh, bowl situations. What kind of message do you think you, you guys set uh, by being so decisive? It's above my pay grade, <laughs> Fred. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I know that we're 11 and two, and we won our conference. Um, and you know we've played some good teams um, in conference and out of conference. And so um, wherever the higher ups decide, we'll go. And uh, you know, we're just happy to have another opportunity. Drew, was there a certain point when you realized that um, you were failing at throwing the ball? Um, yeah. I mean, once I got into a rhythm, I, I mean, you can feel it when you're in the rhythm. So, yeah. Was there a certain point at all? Um, I, I felt like we opened the game throwing the ball well. So, I don't know. Right from the start? I wouldn't say, like, right from the start. Well, what, I don't even remember now. It was early. <laughs> it felt good. Drew, you guys ran 100 plays. Did you feel like they were getting, you could see the fatigue on their defense in the fourth quarter? Um, I mean, we were running the ball on them. Uh, our line was moving people, so credit goes to them. I mean, Bowling Green has a great defense, so <coughs> credit goes to the line and the running backs. Any Tyler? Yeah, I would say up front, I could tell that they were getting a little tired. Um, just. Throughout the game, towards the second half, um, they started to get a little bit easier to move, and and you can just tell that their hands on their hips and everything. They, they were getting a little bit uh, tired. The, uh, the balance, did you guys any run pass balance? Uh, does that make it a little bit easier for you guys? Um, for yeah, because um, when they when we run the ball out, they'll stack the box, and then we throw the ball outside, and then that kind of lightens it up and makes it a little easier for us up front. <coughs> Rob, what was really your main focus defensively tonight? How well? <coughs> Well, I mean, Deshaun will answer this right after me get our cleats in the ground, right? I mean, yes, your cleats in the ground. <laughs> and, and we thought if we get our cleats in the ground with their tempo, um, we'd have a good opportunity. Is that right? Oh, yes, sir. It was a tempo offense. We practiced fast. We knew it was going to be fast. We were ready for it. I think it was a big thing last year. They jumped out on us and we weren't ready for the tempo. But this year, we made it a point and uh, got a lot of turnovers and fourth down stops tonight. Rob, you said uh, in the middle of the season when you changed uh, place kickers, at you didn't know exactly how your freshman was going to react on the big stage and the big game. Oh. Take three field goals tonight. It's happy to see that. <laughs> now, listen, uh, Hagen, um, he's got a good demeanor to him. Um, he's kept improving the whole year, um, and you know he can take he can he can take it. We all get needle him a little bit, kind of rib him just to see what he's going to do, and he just uh, you know he's just got a good demeanor to him. So it doesn't shock me that he does um, at all. Uh, you know, but there again, you, you don't know until he goes and does it. So happy for him. <coughs> Drew, Juwan Breskis had made a couple of highlight catches there. How does that help your <coughs> confidence as a quarterback? I mean, it's huge. Anytime you can throw up a ball like that and just see a guy make plays like he was making, making tonight, I mean, it's huge, especially just to move the ball down the field because that would put us in, you know, worse situations if he doesn't come down with those balls. So. Keen Daniels uh, seemed to be pretty motivated tonight. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I mean, he ran the ball well. The guy's just a great, great guy. I mean, he's a fun teammate to have around. So, anytime you know he's having success, it's fun to see. Deshaun, what did you see on the, play, the two plays of your two interceptions? Uh, <clears throat> well, the first, we knew it was going to be a downfield throwing team. You know, they all, all all season they was making big plays. You know, it was not so much driving the ball on people, but big plays, explosive plays. So I knew they wanted to throw it downfield. So. Coach uh, put me in middle field safety for this week to make plays, and I just looked right at the quarterback eyes and tried to get to the ball as best of my ability. And uh, that's what I did on the first interception. On the second interception, I knew he was going to throw it deep. Just got downfield and uh, played the ball in the air well and came down with two tonight. It was a good night for me. 
Sean, what did it mean to the defense, to your confidence, uh, to come away with a turnover on what was a pretty good drive for BG right off the bat? Uh, I just think uh, D, we played our best game tonight, hands down. And uh, we started off fast, and uh, we stayed motivated. We kept our foot on the pedal, and we didn't let up. And uh, the offense did a good job, of, like I said, moving the ball and getting us off the field when we needed to. And uh, like I said, we had our good team win tonight, and that's what mattered the most. Rob, a tough injury for, uh, for BB. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, too bad. You know, the good thing, I haven't heard anything, but going over there and talking to him, um, you know, it, it, it's a break, so it, it's not like, a, you know, a career end or anything like that. We'll have to wait and see more. Um, BB's meant a lot to us. He's going to be a great player here. There's a lot of time ahead of, a, ahead of him, so he'll heal up and get back and um, be a contributor.